So I'm excited about this weekend, October 6th, UFC 229, Conor McGregor against Habib Namagamadoff. So my prediction, I'm gonna get straight to it. My prediction is that uh, Conor McGregor knocks him out in the first round between two and three minutes. So the reason I say that um, is I'm, I'm pretty dead set on Conor McGregor, uh, Conor McGregor winning because I think that he has a lot more ways to win. Um, Habib, he is a monster, but I, but to be honest with you, I think that there is a little bit of hype, hype and marketing hype put into Habib to make him out to be this killer. I mean, every, everyone's a killer until they get beat. It's like, you know, he has this record of 26 and 0, which is phenomenal. Like, it's, it's commendable. But uh, he's been in the UFC since 2012. And uh, I think his record, as far as the UFC is concerned, it, you know, um, I think he might be like maybe 8 and 0 or 7 and 0 or somewhere around there in, in the UFC. But to say 26 and 0, the guy he hasn't really he hasn't really fought anybody. To, and to be honest with you, I, I think that his biggest challenger, in my opinion, was Dos Anjos uh, back in 2014. That's the only championship level or championship caliber opponent that he's faced. Um, a lot of people want to say that Barboza, you know, he he dominated Barboza, and that's true. That's true. It's very true. He dominated Barboza, but Barboza's been beaten by a lot of guys, as well as um, Barboza is not. I wouldn't put him as a well-rounded fighter. Like he's super good at kickboxing, and he's got a brown belt in jujitsu, but you don't see him on the ground very much. So Habib was definitely able to implement his game, but um, I think Conor McGregor is just a, 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 a much more well-rounded fighter, and he will be the the most well-rounded fighter that that uh, Habib has ever faced. So everybody's saying, and I was on board with it. I was on board with it too, as far as like, okay, if Habib implements his game and takes him to the ground, that he's definitely gonna win. And of course, if Conor can, you know, put hands on him and knock him out, he's definitely gonna win. But after doing like some research and analysis and looking at looking at it, um, I'm. I'm leaning way more now on Conor McGregor's side. So let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment. But uh, yeah, my prediction is definitely that Conor McGregor is gonna is gonna KO him in the in in the first round with two to three minutes. You know, within two or three minutes. And if not, I mean, he's definitely. I think he's definitely gonna finish Khabib. Uh, I didn't really get into this, but. Um, Conor McGregor, he, he he has a lot of lateral movement. He's not just back and forth like like uh, like Barboza. Um, so wrestling, it works a lot better against a guy that's gonna just go back and forward. You know, Conor McGregor has a lot of lateral movement and he's able to strike at any angle. So that's probably what's gonna happen. That knockout, and then all the hype that surrounds Khabib, he's gonna be exposed. It's just gonna be like, damn. Wow. Okay, so yeah, just how good is Conor McGregor, right? Everybody's going to be saying, you know, he was hyped up. 